video in my Week in the Life 2016 album process series. If you haven't seen the first three videos, I will certainly link them below. However, this is the finished album. Um, so if you don't really care about the previous videos and my process in getting to this point, then um, I will give you some of the information that I have already given in the first three videos, just in case you just want to watch this one. Here is my finished album. You can see I added a label to the spine and that I just printed on cardstock using the same font I used on my title page, which you can see here. I chose not to add the dates below the title and to use that gold foil studio calico card instead. And I really love the way that it turned out. If you've seen my last video, then you already seen my Sunday pages and nothing has changed. I've started each day with a full page six by eight photo layered with a die cut of the day of the week and under that the date in letter stickers. On the back of each photo I added my type journaling for the day and all of that is followed by a transparency that I printed myself using my inkjet printer and an Ali Edwards digital file. I didn't end up taking a huge number of photos for each day so each daily section is just one or two pages long which turned out to really be the perfect size for this album. Since most of my journaling is on the printed sheet at the beginning of each day, I haven't added a lot of journaling on the pocket pages. Instead, I chose to use phrase stickers and other embellishments to highlight certain parts of the photos and certain parts of my day. The supplies I've used throughout the album are mostly from previous Studio Calico kits, as well as a few older supplies from my stash. You can see a full supply list on my blog, which I will be sure to link to below. This is my first time doing a Week in the Life album, and overall, I have really enjoyed the entire process. I'm so glad that I finally decided to join Allie in doing this project, and I can't wait to do it again next year. I hope that these videos have inspired you in some small way, and if you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. And don't forget to follow my channel to see future process videos from me. Thanks for watching.